This is a video a lot of you have been asking for, the big clean, which we recommend doing about once a month. We also have a video on the super quick daily clean, which you'll find above and in the video description below. It's worth noting, many e-scooters cannot handle riding in wet and dirty conditions. So check your warranty and manual to make sure you're using yours in the conditions it was designed for. The manual is also where you should find your IP rating, which will give you an idea of how waterproof your e-scooter is. We have a blog post with more information on IP ratings, which you'll find the link to in the description. Before we get into the big clean, a hot tip from me. Jet washes are a big no, and the same goes for garden hoses with spray nozzles. E-scooters have bearings and electrical components inside, which can easily be damaged by water sprayed from a hose or jet wash. And remember, even if your e-scooter has a good waterproofness rating, it may not protect against the high pressure of a jet wash. So be sure to use the method in this video. For the big clean, you'll need a bucket or washing up bowl, warm water, some soap, dish soap will do, a sponge, a brush, something like these muck off cleansing brushes, old towels, rags, or something like this microfiber towel from muck off, and a water displacer like this MO94. As you can see, today I have a very dirty e-scooter with me, so I'm going to start with this brush to get the worst of it off first. So now I have my warm soapy water and sponge. Now go easy on the soap, you don't want too much, just a touch will do. You're going to want to wring out as much water as you can because you don't want too much water on your e-scooter. Then starting from the top working down, I'm going to sponge the e-scooter and let the soap do its job. So as you're going along, if you notice your sponge getting dirty, just give it a quick rinse and continue along. Now remember to keep the water to a minimum and rinse your sponge regularly. But at this point, the dirt should come off without a fight. Now for those of you who have Xiaomi e-scooters, you'll want to be aware of the intricate pattern found on the base of the e-scooter. Those little triangles, they like to hang on to the dirt, so you may need your brush again. So now that you've finished your second wipe down, change over to warm water with no soap and use this to remove any remaining soap and grime. Use the same method of wiping and keep that water to a minimum. If your deck is particularly muddy, you may want to use a stiffer brush like this one to help remove the grime from the top without the need for excess water. Luckily for me, this one's not that dirty, but if it was, I'd then use my old towel or rag to soak up the muck once it was loose. The last thing to do is thoroughly dry it using an old towel or something like this muck off microfiber cloth. And remember to fold the e-scooter down and dry the inside of the hinge too, as this area can hold water and be prone to rust if not checked. Be aware, frequent washings will remove any grease and lubricant from areas which need it, so you'll need to reapply grease or a quick spray of a water displacer to the clamp pivot. And there you have it, a clean, pure air. It's almost like new. Regular washing will also mean you will eventually need a service. Your service technician will check the bearings in other areas and replace them or reapply grease where needed. The headset and wheel bearings are the most common for needing a check, but brakes will also wear with time and use. We have shops all around the UK and some locations in Europe where a full service can be done. We put a link in the description to help you find the store nearest to you. If you're wondering what to watch next, check out our how-to video playlist, which should be on your screen now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.